The Fisherman and the Fish. Copyright Express Publishing. All rights reserved. This is a story from long ago. It is about a kind old fisherman. He lives with his wife in a very small house. The fisherman works hard, but he is very poor. One day, the fisherman catches a small golden fish. Oh, please let me go," says the fish. "And you can have anything you wish." "Dear little fish," says the kind old man. "I do not want anything," and he lets the fish go. The fisherman goes home. He tells his wife about the fish. You are a fool! She shouts. We need a new bucket. This one is old and dirty. Go back and ask the fish for a bucket. So the fisherman goes back to the sea. The sun is shining. He calls the golden fish. It swims up to the fisherman. What do you want, good man? It asks. My wife wants a new bucket, says the old man. Okay, you can have your wish. Go home now. Says the fish and swims away. The fisherman goes home and sees a shiny new bucket. He is very happy. The fisherman's wife is very angry. You are a fool! She shouts. We need a new house too. Go back and ask the fish for a house. The fisherman goes back to the sea. The sun is shining, but there are clouds in the sky. He calls the golden fish again. I'm so sorry, dear fish," says the fisherman. "My wife wants a new house too." Okay, you can have your wish. Go home now," says the fish and swims away. The fisherman goes home and sees a beautiful new cottage. He is very happy.
The fisherman's wife is still very angry. You are a fool! She shouts and stamps her feet. We are poor. I want to be rich. Go back and tell the fish. The poor fisherman goes back to the sea. The sky is grey, and the old man is sad. He calls the fish, and it swims up to him. Please don't be angry, dear fish," says the fisherman. "My wife wants to be rich. Okay." You can have your wish. Go home now," says the fish, and swims away. The fisherman goes home. Now his house is very big and beautiful. His wife is wearing new clothes and a lot of jewelry. I hope you are happy now," says the fisherman. But she does not answer. She sends him to live in the stable. The next week. The fisherman's wife asks to see him. I want to be queen of the land. She screams. Queen of the land, says the fisherman. Are you mad, old woman? She slaps him and tells him to go. The fisherman goes to the sea. Now the sky is black and the waves are very high. He calls the fish, and it swims up to him. Dear fish, says the poor old man, I don't know what to do. My wife wants to be queen of the land. Okay, you can have your wish. Go home now, says the fish, and swims away. The fisherman goes home. He sees a beautiful palace. His wife is sitting on a golden throne. There are two guards standing in front of the throne. Who are you? They ask. What do you want, old man? The old man is frightened. He asks to see the queen. She is sitting on her throne. Kneel down, old man. The guard says. Greetings, your Majesty. The old man says. I hope you are happy. His wife does not answer. She sends him away. A week later, the queen asks to see the fisherman. Kneel down, old man. The guard says. The queen is eating from a gold plate, and she is drinking from a gold cup. Her dress and her shoes are gold. There are servants everywhere, but the fisherman's wife does not look happy. Your Majesty," says the old man, frightened. "What can I do for you?" "I am queen of the land," she says. 
But I want to be queen of the land and sea. I want the golden fish to be my servant. Go away, old man, and tell the fish. The old man is very sad. He goes back to the sea again. There is a big storm at sea. The sky is black and it is raining. There is a lot of thunder. The old man calls the fish. Suddenly, there is a big flash of lightning. The fish swims up to the old man. The fisherman is very wet, and he looks very sad. Please don't be angry, dear fish. Now my wife wants to be queen of the land and sea, says the fisherman. And she wants you to be her servant. The golden fish does not answer. It turns and swims far away. The old man calls and calls. He waits all day, but the fish does not come back again. The old man feels very sad, and he goes back home. He can't see the palace. He can't see the guards. He can't see the servants. All he can see is his small house. His wife is poor again, and she is wearing old clothes. In front of her is the dirty old bucket.